this is it. Oh, like live. <laughs> <laughs> we're on? Yeah. Oh, Hell yeah, baby. Goodness. Woo, we're actually live, like dude. live, dude. I love it, dude. I don't like live. I'm electrified right now. I don't like live. You got half a dump in you, dude. I got half a dump. That's probably why I'm so electrified right now. <laughs> My body still has extra calories. Yeah, I tried taking a – I had like a four-minute – no, it was about six you minutes. A, you had a six-minute window, and you tried to squeeze out a dump. I dumped in four minutes pinched it off and was like i think that was what was troubling me from the night before because i had a bad case of today i've had a bad ass honestly oh, i've had yeah, a leaky. bad ass all yeah just like a just a fucked up i had a mechanic ass all day it's the worst and then i was like i th- i took a dump before this i'm like i think this is a dump that's going to solve bring me back to baseline <laughs> another somehow a bad ass another half dump so i think i've been taking like my dumps have been like the that one flag from like the 1700s where the snake sectioned in like six pieces. <laughs> yeah, yeah, join or die. I have to jo- I've taken join or die. You dump or die. <laughs> your dump needs to join. So I went to wipe and I gave myself a race. You know, you like you just wipe your ass and just looking like, you know. No. Racing. You, you've I talked about this before. Where racing stripe smears up your back. Yeah, and onto the back of the toilet seat. Why do you wipe like the whole way up your body? Because I just start. I I was a dabber. For first, I was doing like a you know. You dab. Well, he's not a dabber. I was a front wiper for a while. And apparently, I didn't know that was a you big deal. You were wiping into your sack. Well, I didn't. What, I, I, I'd stop at my sack. Motherfucker. People are saying it's quiet. Juice up the gain, dude. Give him classic Matt and Shane's with the gain up to <laughs> fucking 19. <laughs> are people happy now? Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Right, this thank is, you, LeMaire. This is a work in progress. Streams so down. Be, don't <laughs> be pussies about it. But. Yeah, you we've we've discussed. I mean, this is this is a tale as old as time. The mm-hmm. you standing to wipe. True, that was. I think is the source of your problems. No, that was probably and you're going wipe forward straight in the sack. Wipe forward was the first way. I'd sit for I'd sit down and just lift sack, and then I'd obviously stop. Oh, you would physically lift your yeah, sack lift up sack and wipe under. Stop at the dragon scale. So yeah, I'd, I'd go to there. I'd lift the sack, <laughs> and as soon as I got like dragon back, I would stop before that because that's like you know, you don't want to mess that up. So how how. I don't think anyone taught me how to wipe my ass, dude. No, I guess not. I told you, one of my earliest memories is in preschool. I waddled out with my pants down to my preschool teacher and was like, can you wipe my ass? Please? I don't think I ever really learned. So I think my preschool teacher wiped my ass. I don't yeah, remember how it got. you've had some fucked up like, ass issues your whole life as yeah. far as like wipes. Yeah. You, know, you I, had an ass <laughs> butt. butt uh, what were we calling it an ass mammy or did I get racist <laughs> to think of that? I don't think it's – I think you're allowed to call it – I think you're allowed to call it. No, I think All it's right. a butt queen. Well, butt queen is someone who, like, fucks your butt with dildos. So let's not call it that. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> no, I think we called it an ass – Ask Mammy. I think but I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know if that's. Appropriate. Well, I think you know too much history because if you could say Mammy to me and I'm like another word for mommy, perfect. Yes. But you'll yeah, your history knowledge no. would be like well, I don't. Now's think not the saying. climate to call. You can't say Mammy. Now's not the, the climate to call a your significant other who is a your your partner mm-hmm. who happens to be. Excuse a, me, don't call her my partner. Yes. Why? Not my wife. It's gender. It's your partner. Yes, my partner. Your partner, uh, who is also a person of color. True. A Mammy, an ass Mammy. Yeah, I mean, again, I don't know enough <laughs> that's history. Like, that's like literally being like, "Oh, my ass slave." Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, a man. What's a well, mammy like? A, a, a mammy was like a. I, I I I don't know if it was definitely a black lady, but it was usually just like a lady who helped a nanny. Oh, like a uh, yeah, yeah, like an unpaid yes, like lifetime intern nanny. Yes, <laughs> but. <laughs> Yeah, never mind. We're live, dude. I wonder if they ever did that with slaves. Be like, look, man, I know this sucks right now, but this is big exposure. I'm about to plug you. You're about to get yeah. plugged in. <laughs> this is look, Yeah, man. if there was like one plantation over there, like, oh, my interns? <laughs> oh, these guys are great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to promote them eventually to free human. Yeah. That's, some of them, yeah, that's how it works for a lot. Shout out How's to the sound, Washington. dude? How's the sound? Thank sound. God. People are loving it. Apparently, People we just the needed sound. the gain all the way up again, which I don't know how that works, but I'm I'm uh, I'm mystified. Um, yeah, man. So I got my ass somewhat in check. We got the sound somewhat in check. Yeah, there's Perfect. nothing worse than a, a, a gross ass day, that, especially yeah, dude. When you go to bed, tell me about it. When dude. you have a nasty ass going to bed, it it demands a shower. Exactly. Otherwise, because yeah. everybody touches their asshole when they, before they go to sleep. 100. percent Right. I'll feel – it happened to me last night. I was like – my bad ass started last night. <laughs> I tell you, I think I told you this before. I went to bed, and I was, like, scratching my ass. Yeah. Oh. I went to sleep. And I was like, what the fuck is that smell? <laughs> it was like, oh, yeah, I shoved my hand up my ass. 
Did you ever try to a minute ag- ago? Oh, did you ever try to ignore it? Where you're like, it's cool. I won't mind yeah. this ass, this shit. I like, smell. I just won't touch my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just won't itch my eye before bed, and then a minute later, you're like, <laughs> I've done it where like I, I'll be like, I'm just gonna scratch the very north pole of my ass crack, like the tip. Oh of yeah, the top. try to stay out. Yeah, y'all scratch that part, and I'll bring Dude, my hand. Don't get me I'll, going. I'll fold my hand back and be like. <laughs> <laughs> I can live with this and then it's like dude it's a full shower it's like an unexplained shower I'm like trying to get still sweaty. Right, we shouldn't be on the air right now trying to get just the tip of your asshole impo- you talking impo- asshole or ass crack asshole yeah you of know, course you know, it's impossible you yeah gotta, you start digging in dude well you oh you're it's saying it's late at night Oh yeah, for sure. You're saying like you it's can't. Late at night, you're getting it. You're saying like it's like a one chip challenge. Like if you just try to oh, scratch, it. it's like Pringles. <laughs> it's Pringles. You're like, I'm just gonna get the, the just north of the asshole. I'm not gonna get in there. And then you're just laying in bed. You're like, no one's around, dude. Yeah, I get a full scratch. Yeah, I, dude, when I was little, I used to do a full like over the boxers, like digging in my asshole <gasps> through my body. That's a how good, little. I still get after that. I mean, sometimes. I'm saying, yeah, that's still in the repertoire. I'll get after that. I used to do them like unashamedly. Now it's like if you, you know someone can throw decoy for you, if you like, yo, get in front of me and you, to, <laughs> you get behind me and just like fucking. Chipotle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my dad's dad died of colon cancer, so I wonder if he just. I think that's a warning sign, having like a constant shitty ass. Definitely. So and also I started a new thing. I'm doing intermittent fasting right now, so my ass is just like, what what's this, dude? Yeah. So that could be it. I think dude, so. I heard a sick, a uh, great ass story on the way here at a rest stop. There's a black dude, like a trucker on a headset, kind of like Lemaire's, <laughs> and he was he was pissing next to me, just talking to mm-hmm. whoever he was talking to, and he was just he's like this motherfucking Burger King cook. I watched him take a shit. Like this guy literally watched a dude take a shit at Burger King, not wash his hands, walk <laughs> straight behind the Burger King thing, and then he walked out to order from him and just spazzed. Hit him with a classic spat. He was basically wash your hands. The trucker was like, "That motherfucker needs to go wash his hands in front of everybody." And this was a this was a jacked black dude in like a beater. He was wearing like a wife beater and a headset, dude. Oh, just man. in, just controlling the rest stop. Went in and was like, "Dude, I just watched you shit." That's he I, literally yelled that at the Burger King. I just watched this guy take a shit. Oh, get him back. Yeah. What happened? The he guy, was like, I'm not paying for it. The dude was just like. The dude, the dude claimed, the dude did the move that everybody does mm-hmm. when you get caught not washing your hands. What did he say? I washed them. Oh, for sure. You Every get... single time I've walked out of the bathroom and someone's like, did you wash your hands? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> There's never been a time where I've been honest. I'm like, no. <laughs> I used to work at Brewster's and I came out of like a hard fucking dump and I was like handling <laughs> someone's ice cream cone and the manager, like an idiot, was like, Matt, did you wash your hands? And I was like, Yeah. Totally fucking did it. Yes. <laughs> totally. I like totally forgot. I dude, I didn't start washing my hands until after I dumped until well into my teenage years. I did, honestly was like, I don't know yet. I know you had to. I thought it was just for employees. I'll skip one every <laughs> once in a while. I'll skip a guns. I'll skip a yeah. Well, it's like it's like bothers you for fifteen seconds. And after fifteen seconds, you're like, you forget. Eh, my hands you move are, on. Yeah, exactly. You're like, this isn't gonna hurt me. But yeah, so that, that's you know, that's a lot of potty talk. That's how we start. It's, it's a lot good. of potty talk. But that was that was little. I was come. I was almost. If I had more time, I was going to shower before this. I was going to hop in Billy's shower, rinse out, and then hop. But because your ass. Yeah, exactly. I was going to take yeah. an ass shower, but you know you can't. Yeah, I've way. taken many an ass shower before bed. I'm just happy there's guys out. Like it's nice to know oh, there's like truckers. Hot, that's the dude having a <laughs> messy ass before bed. It's just like because it's like. The rest of you isn't sweaty. Mm-hmm. You're like, you know, you're just going to bed. Everything's comfortable. And then you reach down for a little scratch, and it's like, what? Yeah. It's like a, it feels like a pussy. Happened last night. It felt like I was wet. That's, what I, that's the exact feeling. I turned to move, and I was like, I, I want to actually cuddle. Maybe that's how. What? Bays know they like you? No, maybe that's how you start getting gay. Like having a gay a wet dude ass? feel that ass and be like, that, might, that probably would feel good. Having a wet, a wet, wanting ass like, all the time. Uh, yeah, like you and me who are straight as fuck True. feel that and are like disgusting. I need to shower. True. A gay dude might feel that and be like, that would feel good. I'm ready. What, Lamar? <laughs> Thank you. I was trying <laughs> to say. I was trying to. I was trying to. You got to The chat's going crazy over here. I was what? trying to. They're mad about the flag. Okay. They, they want to the iron f- the flag. Yeah. yeah fuck off tell about them, the flag. Yeah, tell them to shut up about that. <laughs> okay. This is wrinkled because it's been in battle. Someone exactly. said it's ribbed for our freedom. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, first all right. of all, first of all, yeah, that's you know, I, I can't have that. For and second of all, too, it's like you know, we were suppressed by the government, so until we get our due, this flag stays wrinkled. You know what I mean? Who? When did we get suppressed? You know what happened, dude? They fucking put the kibosh on one of our secret operations. Oh, that's right. We did that episode? Fa- Jesus Christ! I was like afraid of the government. They might like, have MIB flashed you. 
I forgot about it. They might have. <laughs> By the way, they can read through all those encrypted uh, encrypted apps. Yeah, I figured. There was a guy who uh, you can't just use WhatsApp and be like, the government can't touch this one. Yeah, no, they they're way behind. They have that. to have WhatsApp. Yeah, for sure. They yeah. got behind the page, dude. Yeah. There's no way ISIS is just like, yeah, that building. Okay, thanks, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Auto delete, sweet. Yeah. Yeah, Lemaire. That's only major concerns, dude. This yeah, flag Lemaire. stays wrinkled, dude. The, the, this is old glory. The comments have li- since we've started recording here have been the flag is wrinkled. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's there's been a guy. Every comment. There's a guy. Uh, I think it was Cut Slayer. Cut Cut Spear. He's holding his two year old son right now, listening to you, dudes. Good. Two day old son. I'm sorry. All right. Two We're days. gonna have to slow down on the comments. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations <laughs> to that guy's two day old son. Congrats, your boy. Congrats, your boy. Welcome. Wrinkling this device. Your dad's retarded. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Life's going to be tough. Your dad is a retarded man. <laughs> yeah, you will not remember this moment. Um, you won't. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the fact that there's truckers out there watching over the fast food employees in terms of like, like there's always a trucker monitoring the bathroom the situation. They get like that Terminator vision when you disperse from a bathroom. <laughs> the truckers are like heat seeking, watching who goes where. Yeah, I mean, but walking out of a stall in your apron. True, I, it doesn't the take. BK employee had to hit the family bathroom. You Thank can't you. hit the regular. He just dumped True. in the regular stall and then walked straight out, like in front of everyone. That's a ga- I mean, that's a rest stop VIP. If you got a BK apron, that's like John Travolta trying to use a regular bathroom, dude. Obviously, he's going to go to the VIP it's family. exactly like Travolta. <laughs> I've hit many a family room dumps. Dude, how is Travolta? I was talking about oh, – dude, so, by the way, my bad. I thought it was under my Twitter. And I was tweeting, I was tweeting about the Dixie Chicks and Josh. Oh, under both of us again? <laughs> I, thought, yeah. I thought it was under mine. God, damn it. I was being like, "Oh, sweet Dixie Chicks!" Or they're, they changed their name. They're not. They're yeah, no longer they're just, the, they're the Chicks. So they're. When are they going to realize that's sexist? The Chicks. The Chicks, dude. You can't be just the Chicks. What are they going to be they're called? Sexist. They're going to be. The, that's true. They should be the powerful women. True. Kick the ass. Bitches. Or just like yeah. The oh, dude, I watched a good one on the way here. What? I watched. Uh, I watched an old SNL clip that was pretty funny. It was because I, I, I vaguely remembered it because I was listening to Come Town there, and Nick was making fun of uh, how you know it's pretty common that white women get in front of everything like Black Lives Matter and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, they circled around the dog brain. You know, they called them like uh, there was a dog that was victimhood, and they have nip- the dog has nipples and everyone's sucking at it, and the white white women are the runts trying to get in there. <laughs> and everyone's like, get the fuck out of here. But uh, that's pretty funny. I remember there was this. Weekend update where Tina Fey was like, female is the new black bitch. It's like, uh, when did she say that? Sure, that was like five years ago, six years ago. Pretty great. That's it. Just made me laugh, and then I watched it, and it was just it was literally a Hillary Clinton ad about how great Hillary Clinton was over Obama. Really? Yeah, it was about how Obama sucked and how great Hillary Clinton was. Then it ended with women are the new black. Damn. So. <laughs> I wonder if Hillary sent in like the first uh, script to like Saturday Night Live and Tina Fey was like, black people suck. I can't I can't read that, Hillary. Yeah, right. <laughs> she was probably like, got it, done, <laughs> whatever you need. Well, Tina Fey's from Upper Darby, dude, so she's probably – they're probably like, whoa, 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 relax, relax. Yeah, that was uh, – it's been fun. To, my friend actually texted me on the way here, which – he texted – it was O'Leary. He texted mm-hmm. me and was like, dude, I have a question for you. And I was like, shit, this could be serious. I called him and he was like – What's like with blackface? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, I don't know. Alyssa Milano's getting in trouble for blackface. And like, I just don't. Mm-hmm. He's like, is it supposed to be funny? Like, is it funny? And I was like, I, I don't. Th- like, well, comedy is subjective. Think, so. I don't think it's funny. <laughs> I literally never thought it was funny until now. Yeah. Now it's funny. Like the well, shit people, like if I see someone in blackface now, I'm like, <laughs> Well, it's funny because they're getting Idiot. in trouble. Yeah. yeah, but back then it was like, what are you doing? I think it's an elite thing. I think the elites like love it. I've never seen it once and been like, that's funny. I've never seen anybody in blackface. Again. Oh, like in person? Yeah, I've never, no. I've never spotted no. a person no. in blackface. It's seen just, it on TV like twice. Well, uh, yeah, Tropical Th- Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder is the one that holds up, but he's a retarded guy being doing blackface. True. He's making fun of somebody he's, that would do it. Exactly, yeah, that's true. I wonder what that's like, making fun of racists by pretending to be racist. He got paid. True. He got paid. Sick. Well, that was – yeah, he was, made, he was like showing how an actor would go so far into the role and then stay. <laughs> yeah, stay yeah. <laughs> uh, I think Sam Hyde did it on Million Dollar Extreme where he was like, yeah. you're going to make me scream. I'm going to start <laughs> screaming. That one ruled. Uh, Drake hit a pretty hard – Drake hit a hard blackface. Yeah, what was that? How can you do – I don't even know why he'd even do that. 
I don't know. Oh, I think he was. Show, I think he was trying to show like, was like a troubled a, history. I don't know. He's like, this is what they used to do, and it's like, well, it counts as blackface. Sorry, dude. Sorry, bro. Yeah, he didn't get. Alyssa, Alyssa Milano's was good because her hers was actually just making fun of Snooki, so she was making. She was like, I was actually making fun of Italians, and everyone was like, all right, my bad. Italian blackface. Italian blackface. She's like, pretty much how we make fun of Trump. For Tanner. Wait a second, like, Alyssa, right. Mo- Alyssa Milano. She's like heavily tanned, isn't she? Already. No. Oh, she's she's a white she's a white bitch. Not even no. I thought she was like for some reason I thought she was like super tan. She might be. She has dark hair for sure. I know yes. that. Oh wait, Milano, dude, she's a wop. Yeah. She's allowed to make fun of wops. Not by doing but, blackface, yeah, dude. You can't call she's like blackface. I was just being Italian. To be I don't like it. I think we even yeah, it's it. even funnier if she tried to make fun of Snooki and did blackface and was like, "What? Yeah, the fuck did I do?" And then to everyone, yeah, her getting in trouble now. It's just funny. Oh, dude, I'll I'll get off Mullen's dick, but Mullen just posted mm-hmm. a fucking thing on Instagram that's so funny. It was the the dude from MythBusters is getting canceled for like sexually assaulting his sister or something. Whoa! It was something like that. That's a tough one to throw out there, but I think I saw that right. I, I was Neil, driving. I was Neil driving, DeGrasse checking snitched. Instagram. Neil deGrasse might have snitched on MythBusters, but it's funny to have to deny it and be like, "That's a myth." Like oh. him doing MythBusters and be like, "Turns out that one, myth." <laughs> that was making me laugh. Him he starts do doing like the. He's like, "See, my sister's bedroom was about Not thirteen feet height. from my." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, damn, he got in trouble for sexually assaulting. I could be wrong on that. Is that right? No. No, the intern? Raping his younger sister. Raping Whoa. his younger sister. Accused. Accused. He calls it myth. That's a He fun. calls it myth. He said he didn't bust. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a <laughs> myth about busting. It's a myth. <laughs> Jesus, man. That's a, That's a tough one to come out. Did you, fuck, did you, ever, did you hear about uh, Dr. Disrespect? Who's that? Dr. Disrespect is a Twitch streamer who apparently just got – he had like a million-dollar um, – Million dollar deal signed, and then they just took his deal away, and they they're not saying why. So people have been freaking out trying to figure it out. But that it, reeks of an N word tape. I don't know. I don't know. That smell. I look. I can smell so one a mile away. He got in trouble because he filmed himself in a public bathroom one time, and like the camera panned by a little kid who was peeing on the way out. So it was like you know, it was like it was just like the back of three people, and they were like, "What the fuck?" So he got in trouble for all that because he was just like, "Hey, I'm in the bathroom fucking around. There happened to be other people." Did he there. catch the kid's dick or something? No, or not, at all. not at all. Not was the kid all. pissing like a kid with his pants down? I don't think so. I don't think there was bare. I feel like that would have been mentioned, but I, th- I think there just happened to be kids in the bathroom. So they're like, "You're a fucking sex predator," blah blah. blah. <laughs> I'm not a sex predator. Yeah, so that's doc- hilarious. Doctor disrespect got a slap on the wrist, and then he cheated on his wife, and then he came forward and he goes. I got to do the right thing. I cheated, blah, blah, blah. I came forward, and then now they're saying they're – so, you know, it's Dude, pretty they're – hitting, they're hitting everyone. But again – you need to explain your s- personal life. Well, he was manning up. He was saying, like, I am deeply sorrowed by what yeah, I'm actually – Don't like, man up to YouTube. His whole life is public, dude, so people would have found out. So I guess he wanted to get ahead of it. I hear what you're saying. It's not really people's, like – No. You know, it's not really their biz. Then again, Bezos – I mean, it kind of, that's kind of what comes with the territory, though. Bezos got caught cheating. Of all men, dude. I looked up to him as a business mentor. True. I mean, look at this studio, dude. This is reeks of Bezos. This has his, you, this has his fingerprints all over it. Although we True. probably did order most of this off Amazon. I did, I did actually. Pretty much everything <laughs> yeah, came yeah, here yeah, off this Amazon. This is all Bezos. But yeah, man. I don't know. I uh, I saw... Whatchamacallit? What the fuck was that? Uh, there, oh, so that we're talking about your private life. I read an article in the... I think it was the Atlanta. It was either, no, it was it was the Economist about women models who go around the club scene. Yeah. And then, so basically, like you know, so you own a club, right? You have people who like you know, you know, a bunch of like tech guys who are doing like tech startups and people who have like just old money. So you would hire me as a club promoter, and I'm like, I'm the man. <laughs> I <laughs> I hang out with all so the you, models. You're a fucking club promoter. Exactly, dude. So I'm coming. I mean, I'm just saying <laughs> hypothetically. So it's like my job would be to I'd go to start going to like all of these other clubs. And just telling models, like, hey, like, come with me. I'm going to put – like, you put models up in a hotel. And, like, you know, you basically pay – you subsidize their Yeah, living. you bring in hot chicks to your just club. Just hot chicks. You bring them into a club. And then, got like, uh, you know, Silicon Valley tech executives will come and then spend, like, thousands of dollars on bottles. But you have to, like – you're you're not, like, a pimp, but you're somebody – like, the girls want to leave. You have to be, Those like – Those dorks literally should have never seen social network. That's what got exactly. – they're all like, you know what's cool? A billion dollars. 
boom, we're up in the club drinking bottles. Yeah. They think they're JT. Well, they'll have bottle, they'll have bottle yeah. races. So they'll come out and it'll just be, there's, you know, they're, they're all over, they're all over the world. So like, you'll go to a place, you'll have these guys who will just, you know, you get a percent of their bar tab, but you have to find these model chicks. And dude, these are girls from like, a lot of times from like Ukraine and like these, you know, these yeah. places where they're just like hot young chicks. And then there's a whole industry off of just sh- herding them around powerful businessmen. And they feel kind of cool and important just like being around them. And then, you know, eventually yeah. these guys like might fuck them, might not. But they're saying the promoters will like hide their jackets and shit. So like when they want to leave, like they fucking can't. Damn. But and then and there, that's like the that's kind of like that's like a whole industry in itself. What hiding rich dudes jackets? No, no chicks. You just you just if you just know models and you can just somehow convince hot chicks to just be in a place. Yeah. Guys will spend tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars on alcohol. So they can knowing if you can just get models in a club, the alcohol markup goes up by like five thousand percent because dudes will be like ten more bottles and then like spray them or yeah. whatever. It's fucking insane, dude. Yeah, I've been hit with that. I've been hit of with what? that bug. Just a hot chick at the bar of me being like, I got hers. Yeah. Like with a g- girl I just met. I'm like, what do you do? You want yeah. vodka? And I'm like, can I get two? And it's like $38. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. It's you just, just hand a drink to a girl and she walks away. It's like, all right, <laughs> God damn it. No, this I is like, a loser. that's why you'd hire me as a club promoter. Like, I'll, if a girl wants to you're leave, you're fucking hide her jacket. Obviously, pumping coke out. I'm like, come on, come on, here, here, do this, do this, do that. And then you're just kind of being like, yeah, you hide her jacket, hide her shoes, and you're like, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a drink and dash. Come on, man, stay here. I like that. You got trick them. Pretty, fu- it's pretty nuts, dude. That is a disgusting world. Yeah, I mean, these are the business leaders too. It's like if you can just get them around again, you know. Yeah, it'd be like that guy invented fucking. Uber got, Eats. A guy invented, yeah, Pokemon Go. It's like go, go fucking. Dick. Go stand, and they even found too. If you, the chicks are, they need to be super skinny because they've analyzed like the bar tabs and stuff. So they can't just be like slim. They need to be super skinny and tall. Why? I don't know. It, like it's that like kind of model mystique. So these billionaires could be like, yeah, these are like the model archetype that I'm. Sh- I should be around right now because I'm a young, successful tech executive or whatever. So they tried bringing like slim. They've measured women who are like just slim. They check the bar tabs; they're significantly lower. Really? Based on like the chick side, it's fucking nuts. Thick dude. girls aren't bringing in the ten. Thick girls tend to be the waitresses. So oh, they, you bring so some the, fats around. Voluptuous. Like, the, Look at who's better. My the, the girl I'm with, not yeah, you. You have voluptuous servants who come in. So I actually am starting to be interested in this plan. I mean, it's being a part of it. Pretty fun. You could being do on this. the receiving end. I'd like to see like a cute, thick waitress and being able to look her in the eyes and be like, psh, psh, psh. Mm-hmm. "Bring me my next bottle. Do you see who I'm sitting with?" True. I'm like, you Ew. fat slob. <laughs> well, they're the not disgusting fat they're slob. They're more voluptuous. So you would just be like, like you know, get away from. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty that fucked. sinful physique. It's pretty nasty, dude. But you know that, and again, it ties into all the shit that you know, like people getting canceled for shit. It's like, you know, with like the Dalia shit. It's just like he was going for. He's going for young, bro. He was going for young. I might. And the problem is, I'm not trying to like slam the dude. It's no. like, you know. Did none of his friends, all of his friends are like, look, I had no idea. It's like, all right, do I buy it? No. But it's like, you know, I don't know. I, I've, I've watched everyone's reaction to that. Like, I just want to state for the record, I did not know he was fucking young chicks. I know he liked chicks. I didn't know they were young. Yeah, it's like, it's like I knew he was fucking young chicks by <laughs> looking at his ripped jeans. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? He's 40 with ripped jeans. <laughs> Get him out of here. True. But, you know. Yeah, man. I don't know if I don't, you know. Has, I'm not yeah. shitting on the dude. It's just, again, it's like. His he, MO was, look, he was making comedy to get Sniz. Yeah. So his comedy was kind of, it was pop. Mm-hmm. It was gay. True. And he got the Bieber bump. Yeah. So his fans, he, Bieber was his favorite comedian. And then Bieber bequeathed him a nation of very borderline fans. <laughs> <laughs> look. Never know. mind. <laughs> There's nothing to say well, on that. Well, this this was the whole this was the discussion I had with Spud, and it's like you know, and this is what they were saying. People are kind of against of like you know, as as a dude with a bunch of money and prestige, you're not supposed to go after young chicks. You're not supposed to be trying to fuck them. And it's like I could agree. It's it's not the best for your personal situation to go for like you know. I'm talking like mega success, mega influence. Yeah. But then again, it's like. What's the fucking age? You know, what, so, okay, we're going to say, like, yeah, maybe it's weird to be 40 and try to fuck 20-year-olds. Although, you Is know, it? I don't, that's the thing. <laughs> is it? I don't, that, and this is, this was the discussion. You say that now, wait till you're 40. I mean, you I, know what I mean? It's like when people are like, years. I hope I'm dead when I'm 80. 
And then you hit 80 and you're like, I don't want to fucking die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Same thing, dude. If I'm 40 and someone's like, is it weird to fuck 20 year olds? I'll be like, well, they, and I think it's pretty cool if you can pull it off. Yeah, but that, there's there's the theory of it, and there's the actual. <laughs> this is a great. <laughs> no, I no, but this this was an important. This is no what you're talking, what you're speaking to is what I was saying. It's like it's not really like I get the cultural implications of like, yeah, man, it's probably not the best thing if you're 40 years old and you're like bopping around with a 20 year old. Like, there's a huge time gap, and like if you can sit there and pass time with a 20 year old girl, something's probably kind of wrong with you if you can lay afterwards and be like, yeah, it's so fucked up. Your friends being mean to you, man. That's fucking yeah. crazy. Yeah. Uh, I anyways my second house and there's like what the fuck are you talking about but when people try to be like oh that's just fucked up and weird it's like well yeah but like again by like biologically speaking this sounds really bad but it's like you know 23 like, dudes are looking <laughs> dudes are looking for signs of fertility that is like a delia you know, was just trying to reproduce no he was not <laughs> he was being a pig dude you, but it's like he pigged out he pigged but when people are like, oh, man, it's fucked up. You shouldn't like, like, what's the age then? If you're, what is it, like five years, six, like Muslims figured it out. Half your age plus seven, <laughs> which is actually really fucking young. But <laughs> I don't think Muslims figured that out. That, that was, that was the Muslim rule. Half your age plus seven. Are you sure? I thought that was like the uncle's rule. I read Roots, bro. Did you read Roots? You would know. If you read Roots, you would know. It's roots half your is, age in the very beginning. fiction. In the very beginning. Yeah, Alex Haley took some, you know, he took, he took some, you know, leaps. But that was the thing. Like, they tried to give the Muslims credit for wanting to fuck young chicks? They said Muslim rule is half your age plus seven. So I think the, in the book, the guy was like 34 and had like a, I don't know the exact math. It would have been 34 is what, like 17 plus seven, 20 something, 24. I'm going to take a stab. So it was like. That's actually pretty good. But then back then in the, you know, according to the book, Alex Haley and Roots, who, yeah, did get people. But it's funny, too. People, the book came out and people were like, motherfucker. And they're like, I'm going to, I'm going to sink this fucking thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they were, uh. In the in the beginning of it, in this village, there's people there, and it's like if you're so if you're a, a lady and you say you're like 35 and your husband dies, you're allowed to take in like a second 18. Let's just call it 18. Back then, might have been like 16 or 17 in the you know ancient village. Yeah. But you would take in a young boy and train him in the ways of sex, and then release him to his wife. If you're if you were a widow, uh, if you were Wait, a widow. The I'm sorry. So in the, in the African roots village, yes. right? In, you in explained the, it right. I was just not. Yeah, in the processing. book roots, that's what, if you were a widow. Or, yes. you know, I mean, you know, I don't think back then chicks just, like, didn't get Which wiped is a fic up. It's fiction. So this guy just came up with, like, a, a very hot erotic story. I think this story. dude came up with like, <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. He came up with, like, pure stepmom porn. Or someone, some, Bro, someone like, super old. I've been thinking old. this. How many stepmoms do you think have actually been stuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Since this genre. How many kids have walked in to see a stepmom stuck in the sink and just been like, you're a pervert? I'm out of here. Anyway. Ah, uh, it's had to happen. It had to have happened. Has once. to have happened once where a dude walked in, and his mom was stuck in the dryer, and he fucked her. <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, perfect." <laughs> She's like, "What the fuck?" That is such a strange genre, dude. Of someone to come up with of a girl who's just physically stuck, because it's like a weird loophole. Like that's technically that has to it's be rape. still rape. It's rape. It's like, yeah. well, no, if she's stuck. True. <laughs> but in the genre the woman yeah, the genre is of like stuck moms <laughs> your mom gets stuck and you just come into the kitchen you're like all right i got you oh sorry about that i mean it'd be so much sadder in reality if your mom was actually stuck yeah she was like helpless and you're <laughs> you <laughs> help her. You fucked her. <laughs> yeah the real story of what the because in every one the, the mom's always like oh yeah yeah sure of course it should be they it's should boring. make one where it, <laughs> Never mind. That'd be, be a horrific movie. Well, they should. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Woman's like, what are you doing? What? No. Why? Why? Turns the disposal on to break her hand out. She's like, ah. Oh. Twenty forty-seven hours later, or whatever that movie is. Or make it a little. Yeah. <laughs> they should make a movie with that, where some guy finds James Franco in that cave. Which one? When his that? arms stuck, where he was the uh, mountain. <laughs> some dude's like, oh, perfect. <laughs> fucks <laughs> Just him. fucks him and leaves. <laughs> That'd be a nice broke back sequel. The guy's like stuck, like, help, I'm stuck in this well. It's like, people, no, I'm not gay, dude. Guy I'm just after... actually stuck. <laughs> yeah, sure, man. <laughs> I'm stuck between these two large rocks. <laughs> and dude, that cowboy after cowboys comes up, like, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been, because uh, I was drinking off to that exact stuck genre. Porn? And then I was like, I wonder how many moms have actually been stuck. You'd be surprised. Moms get stuck more <laughs> than you think about. I've, I, no, I've been thinking about moms getting stuck. Hard to a clean lot. spaces. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of, like, you're trying to move the TV, and you're like, oh, no, oh, man. I hope, I hope my stepson's not here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to get fucked. 
I'm telling you, man, I, I can't even. So I've been, I have like a, I must have like a six day or in me. And I, I, I literally, I, right not, now. Yeah, man. It's like, I can't get that's the That's what's wrong with your dumps, dude. Your prostate's just I swear breaking I think those so. dumps I up. think so. I think my prostate's snapping You're those like dumps. act out the <laughs> prostate on dumps? <laughs> dude, I, like I a translator. Every time I'm like, tonight's the night, dude, I'm going to do this. I like either get in the shower and I'm like, like, I, there's no good time because usually like in the morning, I'm like, all right, Brittany, you sleep. I'll have my kid for a while. I'm not going to like put my kid to sleep while my kid's sleeping, like run to the bathroom and jerk. Like, I, I can't, dude. Yeah. I can't do that. And to, like to get caught on watch, to be like jerking on the watch is just like, I can't start off like that. Like, well, when, you know, why'd you guys break up? <laughs> when you were an infant, your dad left you to go jerk to off. jerk off. It's like, yeah, I can't, I can't come out. Yeah, like you that. can't be on watch jerking off. Then at nighttime, it's like I used to do my shower, my shower ones. And I'm like, I just, I can't get caught jerking off now. Like before, I'd be like, I'd roll the dice hard. Now I'm like, I just don't want to get caught. Yeah. So just what happens is once every like week and a yeah, half. Yeah, jerking off with a kid is, that's tough. It's weird, it's man. It's weird vibe. And I can't jerk off in my basement because I don't know what fucking is live and what's not. I have like webcams and shit. I'm like, <laughs> just on a chance that these are recording, dude, I can't black mirror myself. <laughs> like the president's fucking a pig. Dude, I would give anything for you to lie, to just go cam girl on fucking YouTube oh, for some reason. There's a chance, man. Between all the zooms and shit I do, I know I'm like, I'm <laughs> too like touching your ass. You'd be like, oh, I got a wet ass. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> it would just be my, remember the video of me plunging the toilet that yes, Brittany sent you? It would yes. be my naked, like upright, weird body. Just kind of like, ugh, into yeah, like my every, trash. No, every t- I use my phone. So every time I use my phone. Yeah, I cover that fuck. Like a part of me is like cover that fucking camera just in case, dude. They have to be something they weird. Have to be true. There's, there's gonna be like 20 videos of me like <laughs> just what? upshot from your, my camera. Your phone does track your facial expressions because they want to see like how you're reacting to things in real time, and they send that information out because they want to. Really? S- yeah, Facebook especially. I think social media sites started a thing where like when you're looking at your phone and you like you <laughs> scroll down, they do things to like they'll measure your Damn. facial expressions to see how you react and they typically try to give Damn. you stuff that's What if they're going to like pre-crime me on being racist on shit like that? Like every time I look at like a, a new article, I'm just like <laughs> 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 just my facial expression. <laughs> just like why black trans is the most important part of this. Yeah, you watch out for that face crime. I'm going to have to start being like Ooh. Interesting. I'm not going to read that now, <laughs> but eventually, literally right before this podcast, that's the article I that's, accidentally opened. It said that it was like an Apple News alert on my phone, dude. And like while I was going to the bathroom, I accidentally pressed accept, and it was like black. How Black Lives Matter and LGBT or trans rights are inseparable is the, was the article, and it's like boy. I, yeah, I'm sure there's some great logical it's conclusions really wedging there. Wedging in there. I mean, I, it's inseparable. Whenever you're like, it, they're, these arguments are so strange because you're like, well, inseparable how? They're like, fuck you, dude. And you're like, <laughs> I, I just want to know how that's like. Oh, the chop, the chaz, dude. Dude, I looked into it. So what? what do you do, tell me what you know about it. Um, I know. Damn it, dude. My entire thing is just mulling. About the Chaz? <laughs> yeah, it's all, all my news is Nick Mullen. <laughs> Dude, I call him. I that's just good. Let him, I just let him rant for 45 minutes. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Dude. Perfect. And now I can repeat it. You ever hear of Spud? True. You get. I did. Yes, Spud, Spud, Spud and Billy started a podcast. I'm like, oh, fuck. I can't channel just channel st- two <laughs> autistic guys that we know. Like, I was like, I can't steal Spud's stuff anymore. It was like, oh, I just yeah. would come in here and Spud would talk oh, to me all day. Right. And I'd be like, well, dig this for a lot of stuff, man. So then that's he's, funny because now I hear Spud on... Mm-hmm. I listen to their podcast and I'm like, I'll listen to Spud and be like, stealing mad shit. No, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Spud is. No, I know, uh, I know, I know. No, man. They, uh, fuck, dude. They're so funny. Me and Tony, me and Spud got a legitimate argument about fucking this shit. Yes. But the Chaz. About what? About this whole thing of like, I'm like, dude, he was like, basically, it was, I was like, dude, I get it. Like, and I look, you shouldn't holistically, I get, I get the idea that like, yeah, it doesn't serve you to have relationships where you just physically use a younger person's body. Oh, you're talking about. But he was, you know, but I was like, but 23 year old chicks are just hotter. They're, they're hot. And I'm not just like saying this objectively. It's like yeah. when you do that billion li- wicked lies book and again, like don't do this. Obviously you're supposed to be a man and fight against this, but the billion <laughs> wicked lies book, when they search for like porn categories, a lot of it's like eyes, hips, this and that. A lot of it correlates to things that typically show how fertile a woman is like the hip per- diameter is typically like girls with smaller feet are more fertile women that have wider hips are more fertile. Look up the porn searches. Those with they, small feet are more, more fertile. Tend to be more fertile, yeah. 
and it's like the different shapes of women and all of these physical Is that things. Why people are into foot porn. Yes, smaller. That's why guys love smaller feet. When women have smaller feet, they tend to be more fertile, at least according to Ew. Wiki Lot. I never got the foot thing. Never into it myself, but again, that's what guys like, like tiny yeah. little feet. Like, oh man, her feet are so small, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, the chaz. Yeah, so we were arguing. I was like, dude, I'm not saying young chicks are hot. I'm just saying they're hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not up to me that they're hot. And I, I'm even like. <laughs> now you speak my language. I have. The, <laughs> I have. Uh, look, every one of these clips, I'm fucked. No, but here's the problem. They're I, doing it to delete it right now. Going through where oh. they're just like, look how stupid he looks on this old clip. It's like, well, yeah, he was, he was joking. <laughs> well, <laughs> kind of. Now it's a hindsight, you know. The, the what? What also is funny is yeah, the one they were talking about deleting Snapchat. And it, dude, first of all, there's all these YouTubers I watch who I'm like, their whole channel is just them showing you something else and be like, what do you think of that? Yeah. And it's like, it's like, thanks, who, who, bro. No, dude, also on the Snapchat one, I get it. It is funny, it especially is with funny. the context now. Yeah. But I've been bored on a podcast where people are talking. And I'm just like. The segment did suck too. It was just them being like, "He's like, oh, you can delete that." <laughs> but, but again, like, knowing now, people are like, "He was freaking the fuck out." Maybe he was, but you know, maybe he was true zoning out during a fucking podcast. Conversation blew. They were like, "Look out! Look at this lady!" And he was like, "She's hot." And the other guy was like, "I would love fucking oh man, if I was a kid and someone sent me tits, I would jerk off yeah. so hard." And it's like, I don't know. Hilarious, but the uh, yeah, it's hilarious, not hacky at all. I don't know why you call us a hacky podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I'm telling you, there's a thing now though with like the Delia situation. It's like, you, it's like a soul reaping. If you're like a YouTuber, you're like, you see the fucking, you see Mount, you know, the Castle Black falling, and you're just like, oh yeah, I have thoughts on that. <laughs> you just breathe in their followers, like, Ugh. yeah. So you know, I, I I'm aware of that. I see that. I'm like, yeah, you know, but. Yeah, there, there is definitely a restructuring thing where it's like, but then again, it's like you go, the, the whole thing with the, the models and shit was like, they would interview these girls and they were like, yeah, this is awesome. These young chicks were like, I get to hang out with billionaires, get to network. Yeah. This is just great. It's like, uh, so you, it has to be like older feminists have to tell younger chicks like, no, you're wrong. So like in order for that, that whole thing to kind of come full circle or whatever. It, it would be like, look, like, I know you think you're killing it right now, but you're yeah. being used by 40 year old men. But then it, the same thing tells women like, yeah, you rock. Do what you want, girl. Yeah, but it's it's like being used. All right, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me figure this one out before I say it. <laughs> Take your time. We can still talk about the Chaz. <laughs> it's also funny, like, because I've done it in my DMs and like text and shit with girls since where I'm like. I, and then you know, I kind of want to say it and be like, I'm not, you know, you want to address and be like, I'm not a, abusing my power here, am I? Yeah. And then it's like, what kind of retard do I think I am? <laughs> Where I'm like, oh, I have power. I have so much power over you. It's like. Yeah. And also, when does that stop? If you're a yeah. Burger King manager, like. I've, dude, I, I joke about it with the Harvey Weinstein. I'm like, if you have an ugly dad and a hot mom, what do you think happened there? True. I think that was a little. Big dick Your dad's power. a bit of a Harvey. Yeah. Yeah, a big dick. Big dick <laughs> yeah, power. Basically that. True. And if you don't have a big it's, dick, you're you an ugly power. dude. You yeah. need to go get your dick. You got to go <laughs> seize power. You got to go get your dick, dude. You have to buy a Hummer. Dude, you got, I, I might do, if I get a, like a regular job, I'm going to do that. And be like, well, why do you think you deserve this raise? Be like, well, I'm measuring a very average. So I'm a very, I'm a very average dick, dick. So you can imagine how hard I'm going to work. <laughs> <laughs> you what can you only sh- imagine how many extra hours I'm going to put in to make up for my average penis. Oh, my God. Especially when they ask strengths and weaknesses. Like you're supposed to not give them a real weakness. You're supposed to give them a weakness yeah, that's really weakness. strength. Be like, well, I have a pretty small dick. And, you know, it actually just increases my, like, hunger and makes me kind of a harder worker. So I guess you can call that yeah. a weakness. I, one of my weaknesses, I let my pubes grow. <laughs> Too long, and then that you know, I'm dude. I'm on a quest right now. <laughs> it's good business interview. I'm on a quest right now to lose like ten pounds just to give my bay that extra quarter inch that you know that's for her. I've lost. I'm like a hundred. I'm up like a hundred ninety some. Obviously, shout out. Don't to Don't let them body me. shame you. Dude. Make it gutster, dude. Don't let them body shame you. I, dude, I I was watching the video before, like when I, before I even saw the comments, I was like, damn, I look like a pizza shop owner. I have pizza shop owner body where it's just like. Well, you wear those. You got those like Jurassic Park hunting <laughs> shorts on. You, got you can't the JP see my legs, khaki dude. Shorts. <laughs> you can't see my legs. But yeah, the shirt, yeah. the last one, it was like tight in a weird way where it's like, is that guy kind of jacked? He's like, nah, he's a gut. He looks like a pizza shop owner. So it's like, it's like I'm straddling the line. So, oh, but dude, the Chaz. The Chaz is. I peeped it, dude. I peeped. Hilarious. I mean. I mean, it's not funny, but. It's, it's pretty fucking funny, man. They're, they're like, Just the irony. 
What's what do you think? Obviously, a fourteen year old kid getting shot isn't well, I mean, hilarious. That's not funny. Obviously, but, yeah. obviously, but uh, three hundred adults having a treehouse in Seattle, basically, it's kind of <laughs> fucking funny. Be like, this is ours now. Telling stories with flashlights, be like Karl Marx. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear what you're saying the people not people uh, dying, but so no, they. I think it was wasn't it like two like a fourteen year old kid in like a jeep, fourteen to sixteen, yeah. and then the sick ass security forces of the Chaz. Just lit it up. Did they? I, I couldn't. Yes. Dude, so th- you told me this. I looked on the internet. I yeah, couldn't find, find that shit. anywhere. Yeah. And the problem Look, is. Mulog is the only source of news. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> That's where I get my news. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. So I used to. Uh, yeah. I used to sit there and like. Like I used to get those messages all the time on my Instagram. Like this and another thing in the chat. Yeah. You see people like firing guns everywhere. And it's like I'm very, very cautious about propaganda. So I'm, I'm looking around, but then like I look, you know, it's like I don't want to like watch a three second clip of like an alt right now this and be like, and another thing they're doing, True. and people are like, oh, that was like super debunked. True. But dude, it is. So they're saying that their actual like security, Paul Blarts, they got Chaz so, Blarts, a bunch of Paul Blarts <laughs> that are actually like de- again decked out in like they military. Look, gear. They look pretty militant. I they saw go the gear. straight. They is they defunded the police. They're like, let's demilitarize the police. Instantly have security guards with AKs or like AR 15s. They have a lot of uh, concealed, they're saying they have a lot of concealed guys who are just walking, like basically air marshals. I watched an interview where a a guy goes around the world and he goes to what are basically occupied zones and interviews, like, how does it work? How are you setting it all up? And he, you know, he's been all over the world. He went to the Chaz or or the Chop, however you say it. Chop. Excuse me. And the, uh, yeah, and he was kind of saying that like they're kind of the idea of like it's all decentralized, there's no leaders here. And he was just like, well, like, you guys have demands, right? And they were like, yeah. And he's like, well, who's making those? Who's going to say if they're acceptable and people counter back? And they're like, the, pe- the, pe- the people? 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 Yeah, it's... Everybody all at once in the same way? It's like... Also, it's like, what if we, if we have... You have armed... It's like all you're doing is... So the cops, you look at them and you're like, all right. A lot of these are fucking retarded dudes. Sure. That wanted to fucking shoot people. Mm-hmm. Maybe some of them. Or, you know, they wanted to help. No, it's, or whatever. it's a fair assessment. There's some of them in there. And they passed the psychological test and fitness test. Yeah. Now it's just like, all right, here's a Chaz. We're Are you gay? For, we're looking no. for, <laughs> yeah. We're looking for just, you know, anybody that has guns that wants to be a security guard. Yeah. What was their test? Yeah. What was their Do test? Do they have testing? Well, dude, I've said. Or are they just like, oh, sick. Oh, who, who gets to be? Who gets to be? So it's like I'm saying, now you're just taking in dudes. Like, you could have failed the police test. I'm like, all right, sick. Now I'll just be a, uh, one of the communist anarchist cops. Yeah. And then you end up shooting a black teenager right away. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nuts, man. And I, dude, I, I wonder. Cause I'm, I'm wondering, cause you we, couldn't look We got up. psyoped by the fucking race car driver. We got psyoped last week about the fucking. He, he claims Noose, the fucking NASCAR guy. Yeah. He's like, fuck it, I'm sticking to Noose. And I people, think. FBI's like. No, he. Bubba Wallace didn't. He didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, he thought there was a noose. And he it was, was like, told there was a noose. And then he went and saw it, and it looks exactly like a fucking noose. The pull thing for the garage. Yes. Yeah, it, it, whoever did it made a noose to pull sure. the garage thing mm-hmm. down. Now, they did it last year at least. The There's noose, no way of knowing that Bubba Wallace The FBI do, gonna, like, fossil record on the noose. But no, there was, just footage, there was footage from oh, back what? then, and it drove past the garage, and they're like, there it is. Noose is there. You want to get involved? Oh, okay. No. Well, Bubba, um, Bubba does look like Travolta, by the way. That was one thing that I had to point out. He looks exactly yeah. like John Travolta. <laughs> he loved Travolta. Sorry, he's on my mind right now. <laughs> uh, no, he like, I don't know. I think he got told by a bunch of people. They were like, we found a noose in the garage. And they're like crying and telling him it's fucking real and all mm-hmm. this shit. And he was just like, yeah. That's bullshit. They put a noose in my garage. What the fuck? This is fucking nonsense. I don't think he... No, no. I was saying just... You know, we he got didn't smell it. We got psyop. I'm saying... just, yeah. We jumped on the story. And then... We it, jumped on the story, but we, there was some trepidation going into that. There was... Once <laughs> we... I, dude, I was the whole car ride over. I was like, fucking bullshit, dude. <laughs> Who would put a noose in there? <laughs> I thought they were talking about his home garage. Like, someone, like, slid under the garage door. Oh, and Indiana like, Jones did. And then, like, on the way out, like... It was like, hit the door and jumped over the fucking garage door <laughs> thing. Was like, oh, jumped over the little monitor. No, it was just in – so that's I knew it was in the NASCAR garage in gotcha. the bay. So, like, you would have to have had security clearance. There's cameras everywhere. Yeah. Like, and also in a time – now, this is all things I was afraid to say last week yeah. before I knew it was debunked. But, well, smart, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like, bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> you like, can't just come out and be FBI's like, FBI's nah. like, this news is legit. <laughs> legit. Uh but it's also like if you're one of these dudes that's like pissed the 
Confederate flag is getting taken away, and you're like, it's not racist. It's just our heritage. Yeah. The last thing you're going to do is be like, fucking noose. There's yeah. nothing racist about it. Yeah. Like, you know? I toss know. that in there. Like, and that, like that's going to – like, he's going to be like, I'm done with don't this. Don't get me wrong. There's definitely people out there that would love to have actually done that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> definitely. I mean, there's – for sure. There's well, wild dudes. Dude, this is my thing with the I, Yes, I was at oh, – I you saw at a the, bunch of dudes that would have done it. At, you were at the Grove. I was at the Grove, dude. That's the – being at the Grove, it was – I brought – it was me, Phil. Phil came down, O'Connor, Six, and Kyla. Mm-hmm. And we looked like pussies. Oh, of we course, were on bro. like – khakis shorts yeah. <laughs> like you guys, you guys weren't on like death's door it was yeah we weren't <laughs> dude the family it's a family event first yeah. off it's just families mm-hmm. and then just dudes it, everyone's like chain smoking getting fucked up funnel cake funnel cake galore bro that's they might as well have like a funnel cake buffet it's all it is it's oh. just funnel cake it's all it's carnival it's fair it's true. A fair food true yeah but uh yeah it's the type of like white trash that's like it's like uh, it's like the level of poverty that's scary to be around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. I was walking around like, oh, peasants. Yeah, well, dude, you know? we did that show in the coal hole, and I remember I like walked down the street over there. Down, oh, were you, you there in the coal hole, Lamar? Jesus Christ! Were you there that night? Yeah, I was. Oh. I was there that night. I was yes. at the coal hole with y'all. I was uncomfortable at the coal hole. I got. I walked by a couple people. I'm like, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I feel like. Oh yeah, the whole th- like the first. It took us a while. It took Phil a minute to get comfortable. Yeah. We claim white trash. We're not even close, dude. The real deal is out there. Yeah, man. And it's like... I could feel it, dude. I was walking by them, and I could feel it being like... Yeah. That was, oh, yeah. That was the Gollum night. Yeah, that was I good. just got on stage and said that I was a Jewish monster the whole time. <laughs> <That> All <was laughs> the white trash was like... Ah! <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm just a fucking Gollum, dude. If you guys put a wish, <laughs> a piece of paper, and stick it in my mouth, I have to do it. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was like, chug. <laughs> chug your yeah, beer. That was, like, oh. that was so fucking fun. Well, yeah. actually, think about this. In terms of like the NASCAR garage system they're like the only knot they know how to do they're like throw a noose on it <laughs> that's the only knot <laughs> yeah how do you do this like simple there yeah, my go. uncle killed himself <laughs> 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 yeah the uh but the grove was like oh dude i didn't even know it kyle larson was racing kyle who's, larson, who's kyle larson? he larson. got he was a nascar driver who just got fired for saying the n-word so he's down the grove he was at the grove ripping dude. how'd he do he crushed. He was doing great. I was cheering for him. I was like, I feel your pain, brother. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. His, you know, his was way worse. Mine was Asians. Wait, where, uh, did, he get, where did he he got caught with a NASCAR? Who, who? First of all, that must be like the red scare at NASCAR, the, dude, dude. It is the. Have you heard his clip of getting canceled? No. It's one of my favorite cancels so far. What happened? He was doing a Twitch stream, like a live NASCAR event. Yeah. Of just Twitch racing. Yeah. And when he logged in, he couldn't hear anybody, and he was like, "Can anybody hear me?" Hello. <laughs> he and said he the N word. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, and this dude was like, Oh, we can hear you, dude. And everyone was like, Oh fuck. Yeah, he got that's, fired. That's his from check NASCAR. one too. That was his check. That was his t- he was like, Hello? Is this thing on? <laughs> and then he hit it. Next thing you fuck. know, he's at the Grove. Bending corners. <laughs> just at the Williams Grove. <laughs> I thought Grove was like, we'll have you. Come out and go down. Yeah, here. get out there. His his uh merch booth was packed. Really? Oh, of course, oh, dude. Dude, Larson was there. It was like a celebrity. Is he signing him? There's that guy that said the N-word on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Sign my foam finger. But while you're there, if you go to like a dirt track like that that's like small, if you think about the time, uh, fucking what's his name? Who was the race car driver? Uh, Del Hunter, Tony Stewart that okay. fucking killed a dude on the track. Oh. <laughs> Bro, that's like, you got to... Tr- I'll say this in defense of Tony Stork, because I guess we we, de- we defend everyone that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> free Kyle Larson, free Delia, free Tony Stork, <laughs> free him, dude. But uh, to get out of your car in a sprint race is fucking insane. Yeah, those cars. It's on like a half mile track. They're they're, they're going 130 miles an hour. Jesus Christ! And he got out of his car, and Tony Stork was like, "Fuck this, dude!" <laughs> fucking bumped him and killed him. Wait, that's what happened to yeah, him? Yeah, Tony, a dri- he, I guess he was fucking jockeying for position with a another driver. He must have, like, bumped him. The guy's car, he, his car was stopped on a on a turn. The guy, the driver got out to try to, like, throw his helmet at Tony Stewart's car passing by. Tony fucking whipped that back wheel out a little. Oh. <laughs> Killed him, dude. Killed him. What happened to him? He got arrested? No, everyone was like, that's fucking, those are race rules, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're free to go. But 
I don't know when you you drift on the turn. He Tokyo drift a guy to death, dude. Sure. <laughs> that music was playing. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I mean, also too, it you're driving 130 miles an hour. You're, you're using a, your purely reptilian car, brain, dude. Wheel that's as big as the car. Yeah. That's that could even he could have even thought like I'm gonna run this motherfucker and it was such a quick time that his muscles actually you know that actually happens you know that if you're up high and you look over the edge you know how it feels like someone's kind of pushing you from behind yeah when you think about not wanting to do th- something your body your muscles actually you engage those muscles and you're like we'll do it a little bit oh. isn't that fucking weird so, so free, he might have been like Tony I better not hit this guy and you're 130 minutes he probably went 130 miles an hour he probably went oh, fuck bam and try to bring it back oh that probably must thought about like- running him over. I mean, dude, I've been driving before and had people walk across the street. And I'm like, I'm like, right, I got to chill. I can't yeah. fucking run somebody over. Dude, imagine. So you have like, if you do a lap like that, you have 40 seconds till you're back at the same spot. Yeah. Maybe. He must have clipped that dude and then had like 30 seconds to be like, fuck, fuck I hope he's on his feet. Fuck. I hope he's on his feet. Oh. Then you get back around and he's it's dead. like. <laughs> Did he continue racing? No, they definitely stopped it. They, the guy got fucking sucked under a tire. Oh, you, oh. Yeah, you got, yeah. It's a rough one. Damn. Tony Stewart. Anyway. You can, can you catch him at the Grove? Where where we can catch Tony Stewart? I'm sure. Tony, <laughs> I bet Tony Stewart. First off, I think he was back in NASCAR. Gotcha. I think he was just, and they were like, hell yeah. Which I guess, you know, saying the N word on Twitch, you're banned. True. Murder. murder. <laughs> Literal murder. <laughs> Man, vehicular manslaughter. That happens. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. So the Chaz. Yes. We're talking Chaz. Sorry, I just had to get my race talk out. No, nah, nah, dude, I'm 100%. A, now, I'm a, now I'm big into racing. 100%. Dude. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was such a pussy at this thing. Yeah. I was like asking dudes that worked security. I was like, well, yeah, how, fa- how fast do these things go? Man? Like just leaning on a fence. Like, are these the 410s or the. Uh... What are they saying? I couldn't have even. If they were like, how fast do you think that is? I'd be like, 70. But they're like, I have no idea. Fuck. I've they no, weren't, were they having you or were they just like. No. I was like, I got hammered, and I was like, I want to meet Kyle Larson. <laughs> and they're like, no. <laughs> it's like, please let me get a picture with Kyle Larson. You were going for the pick for Kyle Larson? I was trying so hard to get a hot pick with Kyle Larson. Imagine if you got drunk and put that out. You would have woke up the next morning and been like, oh. uh, that would have been a tough one. Who's that guy? I never even heard of him. I don't even know who he was. I yeah, was what like, did he get fired for? I just love the Grove. <laughs> I just saw the 57 car, and I knew I had to have it. His merch thing was packed. <laughs> yeah, it was, dude, I was close to buying a Kyle Larson cutoff. Oh, fuck, dude, <laughs> it's that's like a, a John Rocker. Dude. That's, that's the a, toughest that's gear. That's a sick fucking shirt. That's a statement. That's a real statement that I wasn't prepared to make. That's like a yeah, that's like a low key Confederate flag. But who's that guy? He's like, dude, who said the N word got canceled. Called him down. If you're wearing a cutoff, well, I guess that that only comes in cutoff though. Yeah, you can't buy a Kyle Larson. You get like a four X cutoff. For sure. <laughs> to sit in a lawn chair oh. with a Kyle Larson shirt. Is that that guy? You're like, yup. That's Kyle. And I don't give a damn. I, like, he's a hell of a driver. Was I a fan before he said the N-word? No. <laughs> <laughs> now I bought his shirt. <laughs> Dude. All right, back to the chess. I'm back sorry. to the chess. I'm glad we got some race talk in. This podcast has been lacking. Not enough racism. Yeah, no, I'm talking about race. I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the... Um, yeah, so I was watch I was watching the Chaz thing, and I was like, all right. Now again, I'm only the only thing I'm getting is like people will walk through there and then give you like you know here's what it is. One first one's like the super peaceful thing. The other one is, is this guy walking through being like these fucking idiots, blah blah, blah you know, doing all the shit of like I think one thing he said was like, fuck man, he like mentioned some technology. He was like, oh, so maybe they should not use this technology. That it's like no, this isn't. He was basically claiming like white people invented this, therefore the Chaz can't uh, use it. It's well, like, the Chaz is all white. I know. Chaz is ninety percent white. Yeah. It's whiter than the city that it's in. Yeah, I can you see know? that. Yeah, but now he tried. You know, but the, the, so basically, the, my point is, the videos themselves are like it's hard to find one that's giving you the straight dope. You know what I mean? Because they're like this. Everyone's just chilling. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. Yeah. And then you see it's like very peaceful, and then it's like they murdered a kid last night. Yeah. Well, then do you see the guy who got shot and then tried saying that he was actually shot by like. KKK oh, they were like, guys? it's right-wing prov- provocateurs. Right-wing provocateurs. Here. And both sides are doing the exact same thing. Yeah, it's anti Both sides suck. Yeah. Well, they're saying, like, yeah, one side's like, oh, this is anti doing this. The other one's like, these are right-wing pro- provocateurs. The thing that I was watching that I was like, this, it's kind of funny, and maybe I'm just wrong, is, like, all these people organized, and they're like, we figured it out. We need to get, we need, we're going to get rid of cops. And it's like, okay, you can Literally try. Literally in a month, they've already... They did exactly. They did, and then they're not reporting who shot the kid. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. They're I literally that, doing yeah. exactly what the fucking cops did. Yeah, they're like, mm, I don't know. Could have been any. Could have been on a KKK guy, honestly. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah, but the, the, the point I'm saying is like, they're doing this in depth social analysis, and it's like, who pays cops? It's like you know, these are like they have all of this. Like I read, an, I read an article. You know, it, obviously the taxpayer, but like, who's setting that up? And they're like, we're occupying this. It's like, dude, somebody's allowing you to do that. Yeah. There could be someone for all you know who's like, again, like. The news is owned by billionaires. They see this Chaz shit, and they're like, this is a little too far. They could very well send guys in to start sniping people. Just be like, pop, pop, hitting people. But again, if there are people there. I think this was like on. It could very well, yeah. very well could have been. Because there was a rapper that got killed to Chaz as well. And a lot of people were saying that like it was like his enemies. But then other people were like, no, nah, I think it was Proud Boys. I think it was Proud it was Boys. Proud Boys shot a rapper? I, I, they're, you know, who knows? <laughs> But, you know, all I know, what was really funny is trying to look up the story about the kid who died. Yeah. What was real interesting is when it's a no one. Most of the articles I found didn't mention that he was black, Mm -hmm. which is literally the headline if a cop does it. Yeah. And then the pictures like the BBC News one that I the first thing you Google when you look at it, the BBC picture is a cop. And then underneath it, it says 14 year old murdered. Yeah, it was the it was the chief of police or not the chief. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, the lady. Chief. It was a lady, lady saying, cop like, yeah. who's like talking about it at a press I, conference. You, so the headline is a picture of a cop, mm-hmm. and then it's like fourteen year old murdered in Seattle. Yeah, and it's like. Also, I noticed a shout out to like almost why? every city now for having the chief, all their police chiefs and like captains are all black ladies. Yes. Philly, Philly, the guy stepped down. They have a black lady. Uh, whatever the Chaz <laughs> police lady. They're, I mean, it's a smart move, dude. <laughs> fuck yeah! As soon as someone gets shot, they're like. Black, Go ahead. black lady, get out there. I can tell him stuff. Yeah, tell him how something. it is. <laughs> say something. But yeah, the uh, well, what I'm saying, I've so I read Man, an article. Trump needs to hire one of those a black as, lady? A, as a, like a translator. Because all the I looked at, I watched, dude, I watched the fucking COVID press conference. Mm-hmm. It's so funny. What did he say? It's literally, he it's like Mike Pence up there trying just, to talk, going. and then just a army of like women spread out in this, you know, because the COVID. Sure. Yeah. Just like blah, 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 like. He'll say something. Someone will be like, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, this is for the Second Amendment. Like he it was very funny because he was up there saying you need to fucking social distance. You need to do all that. And they're like, you just had a rally last night. Mm-hmm. He was like, part of the Constitution says we're allowed to do that. <laughs> it's like He like says something and then immediately like counters. It, it was great. But if they had a black lady translator up there for when all those white ladies start fucking like mm-hmm. you're doing this wrong. Yeah. What do you think? You, what do you think? You wouldn't say? even need to talk. Just, just be like, mm-hmm. guys, relax. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's like a. Right. I hear it. I, I'm, I was like lifeguard up there, just being like chill out. Yeah, yeah but there's never stop any, running. They have those. Who's those two ladies on YouTube that are like two alt right black ladies? Diamond they get and diamond and silk. You like them? No, I just know their names. <laughs> uh, you, it means you like them. If you know chill. a porn star's name, you, you like them. If you know chill. a YouTuber's <laughs> name, you like them. How do you feel about black conservatism or black conservativism, Lamar? Um. You know, I'm pro. I love it, yeah. Yeah, I'm pro. It is. It's, I fuck with Candace Owens a little bit. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. That's racist. True. <laughs> you are a racist. I do think it'll be funny in like 30 years, you know, when they're like, you know, or like whatever, however long that was ago, when they had like separate bathrooms. And like, you guys had separate bathrooms in like 30 yeah. years from now? Like, you used to call black guys who were in the GOP black conservatives? And it's like, yeah, we just had a separate title for it them. It is weird. <laughs> it is weird. We, we need to start but calling I, them black Democrats. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's crazy. There's so many black Democrats out there. Yeah, man. Oh, so this is my point with the, with the whole also, jazz thing. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Go, Go ahead. No, please. Well, it's capital B now. I heard. I saw it's that. Capital B. Yeah, the cat. The God. They got Which God treatment. Well, oh, the God. I never. Yeah. Like, whenever I'm texting God, I'm like, eh, just in case capital I'll capitalize. G. Yeah, I'll capitalize. Just in case it. he's real and he's pissed. Exactly. It's, like, it's capital. They got all caps, which is sick. They should give it all caps. Black should be like Black. capital B, capital L, capital A, capital C, capital K. That would be. That's the real deal. And they're, they're aren't they keeping white lowercase? They should. It's so funny if they actually do that. They should that shrink is so it. A, funny. They should shrink it a font. They should shrink it a font. I don't know. Yeah. I've, I'd glad, dude. I don't want to, you know, fall. I don't want to like toot my own horn, but I'd gladly rock a number nine font in the newspaper, dude. Just, you know, I think that's all I can. That's at least I can do. How how fucking childish and dumb do they think? Very. That and because most like people literally. Are. That's, like, that's well. If we just capitalize that, everybody will be like, all right, we respect them. Dude, they, <laughs> this is the this is the problem. It's, I uh, only respect capital letters. Uh, dude, exactly. I only respect proper nouns. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big proper noun guy. Dude, the um, so w- this is my problem with the Chaz stuff. It's like, so you have these guys in there who are in there, like, you know, they're all 
they're like, we occupied the space. It's like, you know, people are allowing you to, the powers that be are allowing you to occupy the space. Yeah. Well, they're like, all right, what the fuck are we going to do with this? If, they, if, they, if that was an actual threat. The answer is literally wait a week. Yeah, exactly. They'll be gone. Yeah. But the problem, so I, I read this thing. It's a, there's someone gave me an article from this thing called The Bellows, and they were talking about social media posting, how social media posting is literally, it's not like a conversation. It's like as if you were to go to the top of the mountain and just be like, just scream. You know, if you're like a white liberal lady, you're like, I hate racism. <laughs> and then like just go back down and the next person comes up. And then like, so when like, you know, if you're not saying, you know, it's like we start, there's trends pop up called hashtags where it's like, Hey, everyone's blacking out the thing. Are you going to do it too? So then it becomes like a, the crime, the social crime becomes not feeding the machine of social media. So like, you know, if you're like, I, I don't feel like doing that. They're like, you have to, you have to tweet yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. It becomes this thing where like who benefits from this? Oh, fucking Twitter. You know, in a weird way. Yeah. And they were saying how, like, you know, so you had, like, before, like, the, you know, the racism of the South with, like, you know, they were saying it was very, like, parochial, where, like, you know, at least, like, the guy would be, you know, they'd be, like, you'd have someone, like, you can't have black people here, blah, 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 and they're fighting, but now it's got replaced with a system that, like, just doesn't give a fuck about anybody. And they were saying how, like, the jobs all got sold out overseas, so, like, when it was time for, like, black dudes finally getting in the factories, those jobs were gone. And, like, they're, you know, which, you know, it's a shitty trade off, but it was, like, being in the South where people hate you versus being like an absolute just like number in a system that like literally doesn't give a fuck about anybody. Yeah. And this, that system is what's kind of perpetuating all this stuff. Like, yeah, we're capitalizing guys. Come on. We're, we're capitalizing the thing, but still it's like they can totally fuck you over in like any second. That makes sense. Yes. So, you know, it, the article is fucking good, man. It was really good. Yeah. I saw that, but they're like, they're saying like they just gave all the jobs away. They're like, fuck it. We're not paying these guys. We'll just have like yeah. literal slaves and sweatshops. And then it was like there was a period that they were t- talking about like the 70s and 80s where like there just weren't – they were like li- – like imagine if there was just not enough jobs and you were one of the persons – one of the people that were like there is like a million jobs. I'm like a million to 20 and there's just not a job. There's yeah. just – no matter what I do, there's just not yeah. a fucking job. So you're trying to explain that to people and they're like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, the, artic- the article is basically saying like, dude, the fact that all these corporations are in support of this shit is like – the number one thing you should just be like, what the fuck? What is for sure? Because they're covenant. That's what I'm saying. Literally, like, everyone around the like the movement right now is like, yeah, yes, yes. It's like, who is this against, dude? Police. It's like so. There's this apparatus. And the police are out there doing the electric slide with. They're like, yeah. Oh yeah, we're with you. Oh, of the with the yeah, but the problem is there's this apparatus of police. You have this gigantic system of like just corporations that just have been plaguing just going around extracting as much money out of things as they can doing whatever the fuck they need to do uh propagandizing people you know from like you know buying politicians propagandizing people yeah. to get their politician to win wreaking total fucking havoc and it ends with like all right we'll cut the police budget and everyone's like we figured it out and it's like you you got completely diverted it's, it's like you did nothing it's not going to do anything like all right, well, uh, yeah, you're just we'll have different again, like you're saying different you're, police guys. You're it's handing like, guns to less qualified people. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You'd be like, all right, the community police will take care of this. It's literally more retarded than cops. <laughs> Which is you're, you're giving <laughs> yeah. guns to people that couldn't be cops. Yeah, who's gonna quit their job to be like, no, I'm c- community cop. I patrol the area for free. It's Zimmerman, it's dude. Literally gonna be a bunch of Zimmermans running around. Yeah. Yeah, man. Tackling kids, being like, you motherfucker, get out of this neighborhood. Oh, <laughs> shit, I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> I will, honestly, though, the only way I, I would actually support that if they started profiling, like, white pussies. Like, what you do? What are you guys doing here? Like, nah, nah. It's fucking roughing them up. <laughs> then I would have got roughed up at the Grove, dude. I don't like that. I don't like that law. I was a hundred, dude, and I was drinking White Claws. I was like. You were I, drinking White Claws at the Grove? I was drinking White Claws at the Grove to let them know. Dude. To let them know. And I was doing it on the way there. <laughs> I had some courage on the way there. On the drive dude. to the Grove, I was like, fuck it, dude. I'll just drink a White Claw. I'm a, I can I can not be. A, I don't need to prove my manhood by drinking a Miller Lite right now. Sure. Three 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 races in, I had a Miller Lite. <laughs> I was on a Miller Lite just oh. like, fang. First of who's all. A, who's, a, who's gay? I'm not gay. First of Kyle all, Larson dude, you got to be careful. <laughs> you got to be careful not to get stuck. You're bringing I a white claw. Got stuck. You could have got stuck between two ra- slick racing tires, dude, with a white claw. If they saw that, dude. If they saw me with a the white claw, is basically a stepmom. If anybody holding a white claw instantly <laughs> qualifies as step stuck stepmom. I do like when people use light beer. Like, what are you drinking? Wine, pussy. Like, what are you drinking? A pilsner, dude. Like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Miller Lite. And then, no matter what up. drink, no matter what drink you have, you're gay. 
true. You're drinking a craft beer. It's like, what are you, a fucking snob? Suck yeah. a dick. It's that light beer, pussy. Yeah, light beer. <laughs> Shit tastes like water to me. I don't, you know, yeah, you I don't have drink to, that. Well, you have to drink warm vo- You have to drink, like, warm uh, whiskey. <laughs> yeah, you be like, ah. Dumpster whiskey. <laughs> you, have to find, you have to drink whiskey you found that was out in the sun. Yeah. And you're like, I'm a man. Worst I'm going to black out in 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad you didn't get stuck with a white claw. I could have got stuck in the Porter John. Between, oh, dude. Just they, stuck in, like, the... In the poor pie, just some fat fuck opening the door and like a cutoff, just like my lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> they also probably at the Grove, if they see someone holding a white claw, they probably just automatically assume you're a girl. They're probably like, look at that, look at that girl. Yeah, some childbearing hips on that girl. That's a big fucking girl. <laughs> Balding. <laughs> Yeah, I went to the. I got titty fucked at the Grove, dude. I didn't <laughs> want to tell you. I was drinking. I I ended up blacking out and letting Kyle Larson titty fuck me. <laughs> I got back into his trailer and I was like, "Are you that guy who said the n word?" <laughs> he used his power over me. He did, dude. He used his power. And Kyle Larson. Titty he locked fucked the me. trailer door. He's like, Shh. "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man." The, the that's fucking too funny. The Grove fucking rules. The Grove versus the Chaz, dude. That's what I want to say. If you unleash the Grove onto the Chaz, first off, no one at the Grove knows what the Chaz is. If they found out about it, yeah. they'd be pissed. Tucker talked about the Chaz. I'm talking Grove, dude. True. Grove barely knows Tucker. You think? Grove sees Tucker as like a little elite. Oh, Ooh, yeah. you watching Fox News, fag. Yeah. What about Hannity? They don't like Hannity. I guarantee the Grove is off the off the grid, dude. True. No one there is watching. It's probably the just like now this clips. Some, <laughs> someone was someone was telling me their uh, their wife's dad just fucking. It's so fucking funny. He'll we made it now this clip. Did we? You and me. When? When I when we got canceled. What? Oh, we were on one. We we got in. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. What did they have? It's like, like sad music. music. It was like. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, it was us in this like. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all I sad music and it was like yeah bing bong ching chong bing bong <laughs> yeah he, my, uh, he was telling me that like his father-in-law will just he has a phone and he'll just pull up like you know like conservative now this clips it's all it'll pull them up dude he, but he has you know those battery chart packs where like it's an external battery and you plug it in so he'll just sit there for hours, and he'll be like, and today, Obama, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. he'll be like, next. And he'll be like, and blah, blah, Trump is defending the George Washington. And he'll just watch him till his phone dies, and he takes the pack and just goes, charges it back up. And oh. he'll just sit there and watch like three hours of now this clips. From the Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just <laughs> plug it back. Dude, it's so fucking fun. And then to have the battery pack charger, just be like. <laughs> yeah, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Dude, could it get more humid in this room? Oh, I feel good, man. You're crazy. I mean, my ass is messed up, my so like, I can is... sweat. There's no, there's no. Well, now my ass is messed up. You think you caught it from me? Yes. <laughs> Damn. My dude. ass is crushed from. Dude, look how humid it is in here. Oh, are you condensating? Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking nuts. Lamaria, you have to be dying. How is it back there? It's a little hot. Lamaria, where are we at time wise? Uh, minute, hour 10. Per hour 12. Perfect. That's about right. It's Jump. almost time for us to slide into the Patreon. Slide into the motherfucking page, baby. Uh, how do we do on viewers there? I saw you guys looking at it. Dude, right now it's uh, 1,132. 1,100? Ah, yeah, oh, fuck. I thought you were gonna now, that's good. I'm telling you. sucks, dude. We suck. <laughs> if I I'm, I have a couple models on this. If I had to run my model and we were doing the uh, live premieres, it would get up to like 600. And, you know, trust me, this is good for the algorithm. Good for the algorithm. Yeah, this is that's great. all we care about is pleasing our God, the algorithm. Exactly, that's all that matters right now. But no, that's that's good. That's highest concurrent view. I mean, it's not it's no London real. I mean, you know, we have to get dare I say David Icon to get that up into the millions. <sighs> so, um, all right, sick. Let's go into the Patreon. Side of the motherfucking page. Thanks for listening, guys. We hope you had a fun time. Yeah, this was great. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, man.